Hello viewers, in this video I will be explaining you what an iterator and generator is in Python. You would be familiar with the for loop. Let's take this example where I have a string called name and I have assigned the value to be techie talky. I have a very simple for loop which will loop through the name and print it. You will notice that techie talky will be printed character by character in separate lines. We say that this loop iterates through the string and prints it. This object which is the name is a container object and it contains the string value. So in the background what actually happens is for loop calls the iter method on this particular container object which is name and the iter method is going to make use of the next methods to loop through the character one by one in the container. So in this example I have called the iter method on name and I have assigned it to a variable which is nm and on this variable I am calling the next method. So in the output window what we can see is that tec got printed because I have called the next method only thrice. What for loop does is it calls the next method till the last character which is e and when there are no more elements the next method actually raises a stop iteration exception which terminates the for loop. So this is a high level overview of iterator. Generators are linked to iterators. They actually create the iterators. We write functions using the def keyword. So similarly we write the generators using the def keyword. But the difference between the generator and the regular function is that we use the return keyword in function whereas we use the yield keyword for generators. Let's say I want to write a python code to fetch a substring from a given string. In that case I can use the generator object. I have defined a generator here which is substr. It is going to take three values. So one is the str which is the string. Start is going to take the starting position and len is going to fetch the number of characters or the substring from the starting position. Using the for loop we are going to print the value of i by calling the generator function and as the input parameter I am going to pass techie talkie for str and 0 is going to be my starting position and 4 is len. So from techie talkie I am going to retrieve a substring of values starting with 0. So it starts from t and I want 4 characters to be retrieved. So my output is going to be TECH and that is what we are seeing here in the output window. This is how the generator works in Python. To summarize, iterator is used to loop through a container object using iter and next methods and generator is implemented as a function that automatically calls the iter and the next method using the yield statement. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on new videos related to Python and data science.